Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma, although today you can call me Max. Um, the reason for which should be obvious. If it's not, then I haven't done my job very well and you haven't read the title of the video. <laughs> so today I am cosplaying as Max from Life is Strange. She is definitely one of my favourite characters. I've really wanted to do this cosplay for a long time. Um, basically since I started playing the first Life is Strange game. So I put this costume together for MCM last month. I went in MCM May. Um, to the Life is Strange meetup, it was amazing, there were some other Max cosplayers that were really cool. Um, I was shy because... shy. Um, but yeah, I met some Chloe's, I met some great Jeffersons, there was a Jefferson that I kept bumping into in the photo area, and uh, we had a lot of fun, so it was really really cool, and it definitely made me want to wear this again, just for the sake of, like, meetups. So, yeah, this is my cosplay. It's pretty simple, the most, kind of, Max things I feel like are the wig and the t-shirt. The t-shirt I spent a long time trying to find because they actually sold them at MCM but in really dark like purple shades and things and I just didn't feel it wasn't what I wanted. This is exactly what I wanted and it's the perfect size and colour and everything um, so I ended up I think it was Redbubble something like that I ended up having to ship it from America because I was just not happy with <laughs> any of the other ones I could find. They just weren't right, or you could get them as tank tops or things, like, it, there were none for actual cosplay, and I don't know how to print a t-shirt myself, and it would have been garbage if I'd done it, so I ordered it <laughs> from America. And the wig is from Coscraft, um, which is really awesome. I'd never shopped from them before, but I saw this wig, and it was basically perfect, exactly what I wanted. All I had to do was trim the fringe a little bit, because it was coming down, under my eyes because of my tiny head, I presume. Um, it's a little bit of a lighter colour. This is Prince in chestnut brown. Um, I think Max's hair is probably closer to my natural hair colour, but um, the next colour I felt was too dark. And uh, this is really pretty, <laughs> and I had a lot of compliments. My mum kept telling me that this colour and style really suits me, so maybe I'll just start wearing this out on the town, casually. So I also have my brown satchel, which I actually bought um, at the start of uh, my postgrad course because I thought, how can I be an academic if I don't have a brown satchel? So this is just from Top Man, I just happened to have this anyway, but I felt like it was a really good fit for Max, she has a brown satchel. And this is the kind of costume where things don't have to be perfect, like she just wears normal clothes. She's just, she doesn't, she's not over the top concerned with her appearance, um, having hair issues. Um, so, like, there's no, like, she doesn't have a crazy outfit, there's no, like, giant swords that you have to make or, or whatever. Um, so, like, this is just from Amazon, but it's it's got the white parts, it's got the grey parts, and you can roll up the sleeves, so it's basically perfect. Um, and yeah, like I said, this brown satchel is one I already had. It's not spot on exactly like what she's got, but it doesn't really matter for this kind of character. Or I feel like, anyway. <laughs> Maybe you disagree. <laughs> Maybe you're like... That is not the satchel that Max has. Um, if you are like that, you're not going to like this next bit at all. The other really Max trait, obviously, is she's a photographer. So, um, she has her camera, she takes instant photography, she prefers um, film to digital, um, which I think is really cool. So, my dad used to do a lot of film photography, he had a little dark room where he um, developed photographs and things, so I've always thought film photography is really cool. I don't have the money, nor a place of my own, to have a dark room and developing fluids and things, and the less common it becomes, the more expensive it becomes, unfortunately. Um, so I, in my infinite wisdom and money-saving smarticles, um, got myself a Polaroid camera, which is much like Max takes instant photography, you just whip it out. Um, although the Polaroid impulse I have is slightly different in that you have to leave it in the dark for a very long time, otherwise disaster. Um, so it's not quite the style of um, the camera that Max has, the one she gets from Chloe's dad, it's uh, kind of lighter grey, I forget. I have looked up previously the actual model, but it I deemed it too expensive to buy a new Polaroid camera just for the sake of that. Um, but I also felt like instead of kind of cobbling together something that looked like her camera but didn't function, I thought it was more fun to have an actual Polaroid camera that I could take around the con with me. And uh, yeah, it was really fun for photos, but also I could use it. And thusly ended up with cute photos like this of my cosplay, which I really like. So yeah, that, uh, 
that made it more fun for me. I felt like having the Polaroid camera, like my actual Polaroid, made me feel, it made me feel more like Max as well, get, get more into the spirit of her. Um, cause I do really like identify with her. She's definitely my style. She's a little bit dorky, a little bit anxious, not in the over the top, like Warren way, but she's, yeah, she's a little bit of a nerd, but kind of on the down low. She tries not to care what other people think, but she really wants them to like her. And uh, yeah, so I, I kind of feel all those things deeply in my heart, which is part of the reason I really wanted to cosplay this character. If you will come, come closer. Oh, the zoom is so slow when it's filming, it's so creepy. <laughs> um, so my skin is not very good at the moment, so I apologize for that. Um, there, focus. So um, makeup wise, you don't have to do a lot for Max. It's, there's not a whole lot going on. You can't super tell here, but I've basically, I've added some freckles to my face um, because Max has some cute little freckles. Um, and in cosplay, I feel like it's more fun to exaggerate and things like that, things that make the character noticeable. So I've also got the red that she has under her eyes. It's a little goofy over here because of my friend, the eye lump. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I've just used like um, eyebrow pencil a lighter and a darker and what I've done is I've dotted them around but I've tried to kind of blend them in with some of these are real freckles so <laughs> they look a bit more realistic you can probably tell because this is the first time I've ever done freckles in a cosplay especially on the nose that come out a lot more um like bald but I'm pretty happy with it I I feel like I would do that on a normal day because they look super cute um and Max doesn't wear any lipstick or anything she's not high maintenance which is really nice for cons and things you can just stick a little gloss in your bag I've just got a gloss on and not have to worry about reapplying your lippy or getting it everywhere or whatever so that's really nice um so on the actual con I also wore um eyeliner um I've got a little bit of mascara on but again I can't really do that at the moment because of this but yeah so you can imagine. <laughs> um, so that is my Max cosplay. I hope you enjoyed this video. If there are any other cosplays you think would suit me, if you have any tips to enhance this one, or things that you thought really worked, or things that you liked, things that you didn't like, all that good stuff, let me know in the down below thing. I'm sorry I haven't been here for a while. Like I say, I've been doing my masters and it got a little crazy. Um, now I'm in the period of doing my kind of thesis, um, final project, dissertation, that kind of stuff. So it's on and off crazy, but a little bit more spare time. So I'm gonna try and do more video things um, whenever I can, whenever I have the time. I think tonight I am going to do a little bit of streaming um, and then probably put it on my uh, other YouTube channel as well. But if you're about on Twitch, um, you should come along because I'm going to play um, Before the Storm Farewell, the bonus episode, in my costume because I'm all dressed up so why not? It'll be a nice trip down memory lane for Max and uh, I haven't played all the way through it so you might get to see me cry on camera. So thank you so much for watching, like this video if you liked it, subscribe so you don't miss more of me doing things. This channel is weird but if you like gaming with things like Life is Strange you should subscribe to my other channel where it's slightly less weird. It's not, but it's games. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon. Mwah.